Okay, so welcome to the special meeting of the EDC on June 10th, it's 6.04. And we're starting without a quorum for the record. Um, here is the, but we are hoping to have one by the time we vote. Here are the, I'm gonna put the agenda up. Um, and I'm gonna share with, so here's the agenda uh, we call to order. Are there any additions? Well, so additions or deletions to the agenda. We'll have citizen comments if there are any. We have two purposes tonight, review the trash can designs and then discuss additional funding to complete several of the small re village rejuvenation projects, which may or may not include additional funding for the trash cans, but, but some other things as well. Um, are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? Okay, hearing none. Are there any citizen comments? Good, hearing none. All right, what, I, what I'd like to do just to lay out the sequence is just, I don't know that it's necessary, but just remind people briefly of the history and go through an explanation of the basic facts that we've collected and then have a discussion about the trash can designs and then have EDC members, assuming we have a quorum, have EDC members vote on the design that we want, uh, it, um, as well as if we vote for more than, for spending more than 16,000, we would be voting also to request additional funding. And then we'll go to the second part of the discussion, which is some additional items uh, to, be, to be funded that are all fitting into the same physical rejuvenation, basically completing projects that we had started. So, And Joe and Beth, I'm gonna put show, share these PowerPoint slides, but will you jump in? I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to lay out the basic facts. And what I think we should do is just lay them out without discussion. And then Joe and Beth, you can take over and, and say, and lead the discussion and we can have a debate and, or whatever we want to. But I just wanna get a set of basic facts out there because there's a lot of moving parts. Is that, is that all right with everybody? I think you're doing fine, Joe. Sure. All right. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is start with a, a map that Beth made. These are the 13 locations for the trash cans, starting on the west. This is the west end of the green, two in the middle of the green, one at the east end of the green and one at the library, one on the central street side of Bentley's of Dr. Coburn's, one by, what is that Beth, Eyes on Elm? Um, uh, bank. the bank, the bank, TD bank, and one yes. by the butcher or Gillingham's butcher, I think, yes. uh, one by the welcome center, one by mountain creamery, one by the post office. And there's actually an, a, a rogue can in front of unicorn, <laughs> quite sure how that got there. There's half of a station there. Um, one by where Tretoria pie was and one by Tribu Park, and each of those locations is two can are two cans, recycling and trash. So there are 26 cans in total. Each can is 36 gallons, and so we've got 936 gallons of capacity split evenly between trash and recycling. That's going to be important later when we talk about the trash cans, because the cans we have aren't all the same size. Okay. There are four designs and five different cans that are being proposed. Uh, the fluted single single can, meaning it's 36 gallons, $775. Very, very similar one from Victor Stanley. The, Ray will describe this one is very similar to this, but it's off the ground and it's made of thicker steel. It's basically a stronger version of one. So it's 1A. This is a double 225 gallon containers. The third one is Urban Renaissance. This is this looks like one, but it's actually two 22 and a half gallon containers inside one larger thing. This We're getting this for Teagle's Landing because it's compact. And then the last one is the Victor Stanley, the fluted design again, but you've got two in one and it takes up less space than two of the singles because the, the top round things are all within one enclosure. And you've got a price per gallon yeah, here. I'm sorry. This, this is Jeffrey. Uh, can you can you can you join the EDC meeting? Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm gonna I'll mute Jeff. Okay, 
just continuing on, just so you know, we have three of these. They, they are, I think, not identical to these, but they're very, very similar. If we did go with this design or with this design, we could keep these and that would reduce by one location the number of things we would have to buy if you all felt that they look, I mean, they're pretty hard to tell apart, except up close. Oh, we only have three of these. The other 23 cans are of the plastic looking crappy variety. <clears throat> Here's the last slide of piece of information before I turn it over to Joe and Beth. This is a financial analysis and I'm just gonna explain it because uh, just to give everyone complete information. There's the five models, one, one, a two, three, and four, the capacities and the number of gallons. And so the cost per gallon, if we pick one and two, we can use the three cans we have. So we only need 11 and a half locations. And both of those options give us 900 and 930 gallons because they're both 36 gallon cans. We get 23 of them. We've got three, we've got 26, 36 gallon cans. We've got 100% of the current gallonage. Um, the last option, the Victor Stanley, we also get 100% of the gallonage. For these other two that are smaller, if we only bought 13 of them, we'd get about 60 to 70% of the gallonage. The town is telling us currently, I mean, the village is telling us currently that they think they need all of the gallonage. The cost for the 13 locations is here. And the additional funds above the $16,000 that have already been allocated is here. So if what that means is that if we were to pick number one, and we wanted all 13 locations or 11 and a half locations because we already have one and a half. We need enough, we need to ask, we need to provide by the, from the EDC another $4,700. If we wanted to do 1A, the slightly more expensive ones, we need $7,000. If we wanted to do the Victor Stanley doubles, we'd need an extra $10,000. For these here, we'd need an extra $8,000 and we'd actually be under by $2,000 for number two. However, we don't get 100%. And to get to 100% of the gallonage, we'd have to increase the number of locations beyond 13. <laughs> and then it would cost us an extra six or an extra 14 on top of this. So it gets a little complicated, but I'm just giving you the information so that you can see that if you choose one, you know what the cost is, you know whether we'll we fulfill the, the capacity that the village is asking for, and if we can't, you know how many, you know, that we have to get more locations than the 13 and we have to spend more money. So, and that's it. So with that, I'll kind of turn it over to Joe and Beth and let's have a discussion about which ones we want. Maybe I'll just leave these up for now. Um, Beth, you or me, you, I, I mean, I've got, I've got a question for John. As, um, my understanding is the purpose of this meeting is getting input from the community. It is, and then and then the correct. So so what the community has to decide, I think, is a design, a locations, and how many of those locations we have to fill, or they they feel is need to feel based on information that we provide them. But the final decision, as I understand it, is with the community. Is that, is that correct? The input from the community? The final decision is with the EDC. We can choose to take or ignore the input from the community. But, you know, okay. it's, but however, I would just say that we're not deciding on the, num on the location or the number of the locations. It's a good question. The, yeah. the, the village is deciding that. We're sharing this in it's, we're, the EDC. We, we, don't, we don't run all this stuff. I mean, the village has decided on the locations. We're going to decide how many. We're going to decide how many trash cans to buy and of what design. Yeah. And the village is then going to make the best use of those trash cans. And they've already told us that at least one village trustee has said, "Well, they hope we would allocate funds to buy enough cans for everything. If they don't, if we don't, they will deal with that, and they'll figure out how to deal with it. They'll either have fewer locations, or they'll they'll they'll, they'll decide." So our role here is limited to picking the design and picking the number, which reflect, which is in effect picking how much money beyond the sixteen thousand dollars we've already. It's already been approved by the select board, so we don't even have to go to the select board for the sixteen thousand. So, so, 
So would it be, I'll, I'll ask this question, would it be appropriate right now in order to simplify things and try to make, you know, try to move this thing along, would we first like to ask input on the design first? Yeah. How do you feel about the design? Which one do you, would you prefer? Yeah. And then we can go, f then we can decide from the, or we can, uh, based on that, on, on that analysis from the community, we can say, okay, if that's the design you want, this is, yeah. then we have, to, we have to decide how many and where we want to put yeah, it. Yeah, and, and we might change our mind once we, once we get to the how many. I agree with that. So let's go around, uh, sorry, let's Beth, and then let's just go around the room and just see what sure. people. Yeah. If I could just I add. The first thing we should do is talk to the community and say. Well, I, I just want to add information. I, I don't. Yeah, I, go ahead, we can talk to the community. Um, I guess my question or my thought is, I don't think that the original three are Victor Stanley because they are already rusty. Yeah. If you look at the top, I, I paid attention today and the top is already peeling. Yeah. So just an FYI for that, those, um, the, the two current cans, the green one is rusting. Um, the second is that I just wanted to say that the, the double black um, kind of square, no, the square thing, that is recycled plastic. So it isn't, it's just, that's what it is. Yeah. That's great. And let's go, let's go around and who, who has comments about what, what, what they would like. Ray, I know you, maybe we start with you just a little bit because you had some you know, have some experience with this and have investigated some of the things. Okay, um, I um, have looked at the uh, specs for the Streetscape, the Victor Stanley, and the Victor Stanley are made or, or, or thicker steel, as you can see by the, the slats going up and down, more slats so they're heavier, um, and they have been around for a long time. Uh, the other comment, um, I, I think is with the double, obviously you said it, John, it takes up less space. There's side openings, so the covers on the top cannot be picked up so somebody can throw trash in. You can get on a Victor Stanley double, and I believe on a single, you can get a, uh, the lid on top that just says cans slash bottles. So you can't put sandwiches, bags of sandwiches in or you know other trash. It's a six inch circle instead of a um, 12 inch, like the trash receptacle. You're talking about for recycling? For recycling, yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and then I, I do have a, a question for uh, Beth or Joe. Um, on the um, trash can warehouse, and I just looked to double check, the, this can that you're showing doesn't come and recycle. They have a recycle can it's separate which one are you talking about well, yeah well, the, I, what are you talking about okay. the streetscape can if i went on the site the warehouse trash can warehouse website just now to double check something yeah and realize that this only comes in trash if you want to recycle one that's another 956 dollars because it's a different can well, you get fifty-six in addition to seven seventy-five. Yes, because oh. that's only, that's only that only comes in as in as that only comes as a trash can, according to the website. I did not speak to anybody. I just for some reason looked it up just now. Um, and if you want a recycled container to go with that one, it's another nine hundred fifty-six. So it's basically seventeen hundred dollars for the two units. Okay. Thank you. Um, Todd, basically, you can see the comment in the chat if you're looking from Todd, the least expensive one, which matches the two that we sort of had. Is there an issue with that design? Because if not, then the other two more expensive ones are moot and we're done. I think the, I think, Todd, an issue with the, with these is that they are not, sorry, this one anyway, is not as, um, is not as sturdy as 1A or 4, the ones made by Victor Stanley. And 4, and they're bigger than 4. So it depends on how much we, you know. Some people think this, I, personally, I favor four. I, I don't think it's a lot of money to spend and I think it's the best solution. It's the strongest and it takes up the less space, but uh, that's all I'll say for uh, Devin. 
I am uh, I actually I am standing in front of the Victor Stanley trash can in Hanover if you guys would like to see um, what it looks like in I don't know real life <laughs> yeah. sure the Victor Stanley single or the double it's a single it is a little Victor Stanley yeah, it has a little quite, cover on top it's not exactly the same model as ours but that's fine they make it's like probably 40. an older one uh, it looks kind of it's yeah, actually so. decent shape but yeah it's probably an older one and it's smaller and, and they they have an assortment of uh, lids and that's one of the uh, lids available if you wanted to put that on a, on a trash can. Would, would the lid be an additional cost? No. no. The lid and the decals come with the trash can. I, w I was in Hanover this afternoon and I, I saw those Victor Stanleys. Uh, they must have been around for a while because they look like they're in pretty bad shape. They were chipped and rusted, and the ones I saw, that and that was on. This one was rusted too. Corner of the post office, and across the street from Molly's, there was a couple, um, and I I noted it because this is what we're talking about. I'm just going to go around and I'm point to people just to get your feedback, Stuart. Well, I would probably go for the Victor Stanley double only because I, I, I like the, the the look of the ones that we have, and uh, but I think we should have recycling and the space gets saved. What worries me is is the uh, so that would probably be my my first choice. What worries me is is the wear and tear in the winter, and so I sort of think I, I you know I wonder about the plastic option, which is going to be more durable, although not as attractive. But I, I don't think the streetscape. I don't know, given, given the experience we've had with those that we have, that it seems like it'll wear out too fast. And the single, I worry about the space just because I don't know where we would, uh, I think we should have recycling in each location. And so you're just having double cans everywhere. Um, Mary, I'm gonna, oh, wait, Mary, sorry. Mary, can I just call on you, not as a select board member, but as a citizen, a non-EDC member? Do you have any point of view? Um, I don't. Uh, I like the Victor Stanley and I like the um, appearance of the second one, um, the, even if it the, were in black. The because... uh, sorry, this should be in black, by the way. I, they, they come in different colors. I just couldn't okay. find it. Okay. Um, will the, if we were to go for the double, would it, um, yes, that is the same um, weight as the metal in the, the one that's lighter here. I think that it's obvious that that's a better constructed vessel than um, the, the streetscape. It's, it's obvious just by looking at it. Yeah. And also the fact that it's not resting flat on the snow and ice is another component that I'm impressed by. Mm -hmm. And that, and that's, that that would draw my attention. That would get my vote if I had one. All right, Joe. Can I just add one thing to my comment? Um, and that is that I think that we should get enough, whatever we decide, whatever you decide, you should get enough cans to fill the, we should do this. This should be a one shot deal. And we, we, we get enough cans to cover the, you know, the, the required spots. All right, I'm going to keep going. Uh, thank you. I'm going to keep going and just ask all the non-EDC members, and then I'll come back to the EDC members, if that's all right. Bill, do you want, as a citizen, as opposed to a town manager, do you have a point of view? Yeah, I'm thinking like Mary, probably the double to Victor Stanley. I think that's probably what I would choose. Um, okay, Patrick, Mary, uh, Antonio, Antonia, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, is the um, <clears throat> is the double Victor Stanley one is that uh, accessible to the people who remove the trash? I mean, yeah. I, I can't I can't see what the um, device is, how they access it. I guess from the side, there's a side gate. It is on, on the, excuse me on the Victor Stanley. There's two latches, one on either side for each side. Okay. So you just okay. open up the side of it and slide the can out. Joe, you're, you you're all you're you're all very happy with the, the size of the of the container being what uh, thirty six gallons. 
that's that's big enough you think well the village needs to answer that but joe and beth also do you do you just want to comment briefly on that you talked to casella about collecting and all of these are okay right what i can what i can share with you uh on that issue is in past meetings um the gentleman who picks up for casella in woodstock is a woodstock native uh ray wardwell and he was at the meeting and he had no problem with the side access to these cans. He had no problem with that at all. Well, anyway, I like, I like the idea of the double one, even though it's expensive, yeah. uh, it will look a lot neater than having, you know, having two separate ones. Okay. And, um, and it looks, it looks pretty decent. I'm concerned about the, the little, uh, feet that it stands on are those uh yeah those are those able to withstand um frost heaves and ice and snow and salt those are just leveling feet the if you look underneath there's a um rim right under it where the arrow is it yeah. rests on say it again ray you were cut off it rests on what all right if you look underneath the at the very base, mm -hmm. it looks like an indentation. It rests on that metal ring underneath it. Okay. Like under there, that. Yeah. All right. So that will keep the the, the main body of the of the uh, container off of the salt and snow somewhat. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Bill. Corson. Yeah, I like the Victor Stanley Devil also. Um, I'm concerned about the gates, but the Casella people say they can get them open, and I guess that's no problem. How often do, How often is this trash collected? Because I know like in, down East End Park and stuff, they have, I don't know if that's on our, our um, purview here, but uh, trash cans get stuffed and overflown, and there's uh, comments about people not uh, emptying frequently enough. Is that a concern in the town, or how often do these get collected? I know it's not Bill or Jeff, do you? Yeah, it's it's twi uh, Bill Corson. Uh, yeah, it's twice a week in the okay. summer, and then they get they go back to a winter schedule sometime in the fall. So yeah, and they're and they are collecting twice now at East End Park, so okay. it should be resolved. Yeah, that's that's one I like. Even if it's more expensive, I think it looks better. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Sally, you're a, a non EDC member technically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only comment I'll have is I like the double two. I think it's great, except I want to just make sure that it's it's not single sided in the sense it's not doesn't have a flat back, but it's actually an oval. No, it is. It is because I can't tell from that photo. Yeah, yeah, it it is. I, I think okay. the oval is about the same size as this, but it but it's right. yeah. elongated. But I just make sure that it's not flat because you then you'd be putting it up against the building. It would not look good if it was freestanding. Okay, thank you. Um, Todd? Todd is, is typing. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Number four is affordable and that is great. If, do you want me to read to Todd or should I? Yes, please. If number four is affordable then that is great. If not, the number two satisfies the recycle element. It's also theoretically more durable. Bang for the buck goes to number two. So if we care about money and longevity, then that's a no brainer. Number four, if we wanna spend money on this sort of thing and know it might rust, it's definitely more attractive and woodstocky. If the public is not gonna be up in arms on the cost, then we should as EDC consider what makes people have a wow factor. If we're doing that in the trash can universe, then number four. Long story short, I would vote number four if I were able to vote. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Todd. I like this idea. I would like from now on to all have all of you type your comments and I will say everything. <laughs> I like that approach. Um, who's left? Todd, Neil, Neil, you're a member of the community, even though you're member, also a member of the press. Do you have a comment? <laughs> he probably wasn't planning to, to comment, so. I have a comment. Oh, Jeff, sorry, that's right. I forgot you and Beth also. Jeff, go ahead. Um, I like one A, or I like the I like both Victor Stanleys, okay. um, and I, if the EDC is willing to do all all the ones we need, the um, 
then uh, I would definitely do number four. Um, yeah. Okay, Beth? I'm not a member of the community, I can um, quite honestly. I thank you, Ray, for reminding us that we spent a lot of time looking at number four and talked with Ray Wardwell about it um, in 2019. And it looks great. It is expensive. Um, I will offer that if you'd only like to buy 12 instead of 13, we will take the two in front of the village butcher and put those by the welcome center and only need 12. Yeah. What? And in fact, when, when we did these calculations, I assumed, because you had mentioned that in a prior meeting, Beth, so I had assumed we would only buy 12 of, of those double ones because they did match. And the same way we would do the same thing with the with singles if we did those. Yeah, and John, it would need to be, uh, you, you said before, 11 and a half. Well, that, that's the, we're using si single designs. Yeah, no, correct. So we need 20, it's 11 and a half locations. So we did, this is purchasing 23 of these or 23 of the singles or 12 of the Victor Stanley's or 13 of the others. Well, yeah. So it'd be 12 number fours if we wanted to complete correct. everything. Yes. Correct. And that's the X. Okay. So EDC members then, what, what's your, let's, from an EDC point of view, let's talk about both design and also spending. Stuart made the suggestion that we just sort of get this over with and <laughs> complete the project. Joe, why don't you start out and then the rest of us. Um, Joe and then Patrick is ready. Well, we started on this project a few years ago and um, and the reason was because everybody agreed that the existing trash cans just looked horrible. Um, more than functionality, they were just ugly and people were just, were just tired of looking at them. And that's, that's what the springboard was. And I'm of the opinion that <laughs> in that vein, every, anything would be an improvement. Now, if we get to the cost factor, um, I'm, I pose the question I posed last night and if, and that question is, does six pickups or seven pickups once a week cost as much as two, as 12 pickups twice a week? And if, if, if the cost is the same, and the job accomplished is the same, then I would not have a problem. But depending on those two factors, I would not have a problem with um, considering less locations if necessary. That's my opinion. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep going around for the EDC. Ray, I know you've got your hand up, but let me just get the EDC members and then we'll come back to you. Patrick, you would raise your hand. I, I think we should get this one and done. And buy whatever we need, get it done. It's kind of silly that we spent two years on trash cans. Well, well 15 months of that was, was COVID. So, I mean, we were- okay. but, but even, even in any case, we, I think we need, to, we need to get this done and get, to get the trash cans replaced. Uh, and I would- vote for number four as well. Uh, I think if we're going to, you know, we're trying to be green and I think those are much more attractive than the plastic ones. Uh, and I would be concerned plastic tends to discolor. Uh, so if we're looking for, for uh, beauty as well as functionality, then I think the number four is the right one to go. Uh, and I, I'm to this day still amazed at how much trash cans cost. I've had to buy them here at the motel and uh, they're crazy priced, but uh, if we think the longevity is going to be good, number four, and, and let's just buy them all and get it done. Larry? Um, yeah, I, 
I don't, I don't remember seeing one A before. Is that, uh, that must come in other colors. It must come in the black. Yeah, it comes color. in black. I, this is the, this was a last minute edition because Ray suggested we just show because it's slightly different than, than one. But yes, it, no, no, this is, it de definitely comes in, in other colors. We can get it. I'm sure we can get it in green or any color we want. Yeah, any color you want. Blue. Well, and we've got, you know, we've got the state act now because these are on public property, Act 148. So, um, Somebody was mentioning. Me? Somebody was mentioning about uh, whether or not we should have uh, recycling in every location. You have to. Yeah. Uh, there's not. That is not optional anymore. Um, so so uh, I just wanted to make that that point. Um, when we talked to uh, Ray Wardwell. Um, he suggested that we could get by with a smaller capacity and just increasing uh, the pickups to, uh, I think it was, I, my note says three times a week in the summer and twice a week in the winter, um, which is once more than I gather we're doing right now. Um, so that would be a, a cost issue. So um, those are just my, oh, the other question was, um, I can't recall what, which of those designs you can actually see the trash bag. Ray, do you remember that? Uh, you can, if they use black trash bags, you're not gonna see anything. On if any use, of them? You are, I mean, you'll, if you look, you'll see them, but right now they're using clear trash bags and there's nothing that'll hide, hide the clear trash bags. Okay. Well, yeah, I, 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 I continue to be just amazed at how much these things cost, but um, I guess I would, go with the number four as well. Okay, um, Devin, oh, did we just lost the video, Devin. I don't know if that means he's, there you go. And you're muted too, sorry. All right, Devin, you're muted. Hi, uh, sorry about that. I'm leaning towards 1A. I, I think that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it's about $3,000 cheaper to get the was it 23 1As as opposed to the comparable number of fours. That's about right. So yeah, I mean, that's like a 50% cost increase, more than 50% cost increase for a purely aesthetic choice. Yeah. And I don't think that it's that much more beautiful. Um, so I would just go with 1A. No, no, that's, that's not correct, actually. The, the, oh. the, the, just from a cost point of view, Darren, I don't know if you can see the slides, but it's only about a, it's $3. It's about a 12% higher cost. It, 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 so, it, but. Oh, oh, okay. I, I see that. Sorry. If that's the amount of extra, uh, we just, have to pay back. Oh, it's 50% additional funds. Yeah, it's just the additional funds required yeah. is $3,000 higher. But okay. Total funds is only... It's still it, 20, this, 23 compared to 26. This is 24. I would still say that it's not worth $3,000. I would rather use $3,700 or something else. Okay. Um, so I would say that 1A is where I land. Okay. Um, and I would... Um, I, I, I favor four because of the space and the quality. And, um, and I would also spend the extra money, which means that we would, we would be asking for an extra $10,000, $11,000 roughly um, on top of it. So um, I think, Devin, despite your comment, I think there's a consensus uh, under design on number four. Um, is, does anyone on the EDC disagree with that? I, I mean, it, it didn't. No, I, I John, I, personally, I think if we're going to decide on something, I think number four is the way to go. Okay. And I think four of us said that, and, and, and Devin is same company, just to my say. Only, my, only, my only thought is, do we need as many as right. identified? That, that, that's the only issue I, I think about. Okay. But I definitely think four is the way to so go. He, so here, based on the conversation that we had yesterday with the town, sort of offline, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to then make a motion, which we can then debate. Um, because we haven't talked as much about whether or not to request an extra eleven thousand uh, dollars, I'm going to make a motion as follows: that we uh, rec that we request, and, th and since we're requesting additional funds uh, or recommending additional funds, we would need to have this approved by the select board. That we basically purchase twelve of the Victor Stanley doubles for a total cost of twenty six thousand seven sixty. I'm going to also suggest we add a 5% contingency because we don't actually have bids for shipping costs. So it would be uh, 27, an extra, whatever 5% more of this is. And that we, we 
in parallel uh, asked the select board to approve the funding, but we also over the next week asked the village, Bill, and with the advice of the trustees to analyze whether or not they think they can get by with fewer locations and greater pickup frequency, what Joe was asking about. And we know, Bill, you said or before this meeting, we don't have quite all the information needed to do that. Right. Obviously, if you can do that, we would ask that you do do that. And then you would tell us to only buy 11 or 10, whatever or nine, whatever the number is. And that will leave with you the decision. And, and would you please analyze it carefully to, you know, don't just waste our money. <laughs> But you, you, you are the ones that have to run this and they're your trash cans and you have to make a decision as to what the right number is. So that will give us the option, Joe, of reducing the number, but only if the village operation, the town manager and the trustees are comfortable with that decision. Otherwise we will allocate the full funding. And so that's the motion that I'm gonna make. Now we can discuss whether we should Second. do that. Or not. Second the motion. Okay, Joe has seconded it. All right, discussion. Patrick? I don't think you can ever have too many trash cans. Uh, I think the idea of reducing them uh, and having more pickups, uh, there's nothing worse than being somewhere, especially somewhere like Woodstock, where we're trying to be beautiful uh, and not being able to find a, a trash can to put your trash in. Uh, so I don't know what the benefit would be in, in, of having less. Uh, and having more pickups. I think you're gonna, it's gonna be a wash, I, I would think. Uh, and ultimately the trash, the value of the trash cans over a period of time would probably be less expensive than can extra pickups. Well, uh, we're gonna, my, 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 just to clarify, not to argue one way or the other, but my, my motion is to have the town figure that out. And you're advising the town in effect. I'm, I'm not, we'll, well, I guess, I mean, the village. Sorry. I'm not sure why the motion then, if we don't know what the facts are, uh, it, then I'm a little confused. Well, okay, what I'm saying is, is that to move things along, I'm, I, since my sense is just hearing a few comments about this and maybe my own sense is that allocating an additional $12,000 to get this done and to get it done right is not gonna be too big of a concern. We might be able to do it for less. We might be able to do fewer locations. We don't know that tonight. Joe is asking a fair question and Bill doesn't quite know the answer because we couldn't get all the data from Casella today. So therefore what we're saying is, look, we will go ahead and propose $12,000. We'll wait seven days to place the actual order. In those seven days, Bill and, and Jeff on representing the trustees, would you please figure out if you can, if it's a good idea to have fewer locations or not, we'll trust your word on it we'll vote, you decide, just tell us in a week how many units to order. You can order up to 12. <laughs> and if they, if they agree with you, Patrick, they'll order 12 and we've already funded it. If they order less, if they figure out that this is wrong, that they can actually collect more often and it's much cheaper, then that's their decision. And we will only order 11 or 10 or whatever they ask for. So we can, just do, to get we can do that. Tonight. We can and, do that, John. Yeah. I would also, what's, you know, another analysis question is uh, the, what location you're going to remove and are they less full or, I mean, that's, are, that, that's what they're going to, what I'm basically saying, I'm trying to divide between the EDC and the village. It's like, okay. that's their decision. Okay. Well, and if that's the case, I'd say I agree with the amount of money and, and I, I personally think it should be more trash cans than less. Uh, but I'll let that be the, yeah. the, the town's decision or the, the village's decision. All right. Other, other than questions or comments about the motion. I don't mean to force this down anyone's throat. Wait, I, I, I just trying to get a sense of the pulse of the community of the group. <laughs> Would you repeat your motion, John? Yeah, that we that we approve the purchase of twelve trash cans, which requires additional funding from the EDC to be approved by the select board of a, about about twelve thousand dollars, eleven thousand five hundred, something like that. About that, a, a little over eleven thousand, for the purchase of twelve number four Vic, Victor Stanley doubles and that the village let us know in the next week whether or not they think they could make do with less, with fewer. And we will order either 12 or fewer. We will approve 12. And if they ask us for fewer, then we'll, we'll order the fewer number and we'll place the order in a week. So to give them time to finish the, their analysis. That's, so what we're voting on is to buy 12 with a side request that the village might, might choose to ask for fewer. And it's up can you to just say up up to twelve? Yeah, up to twelve. Right, we will buy. Right, exactly. We're and, approving up and, to twelve. And where's 
I, I'm seeing 10,760 as additional funds. Right, right. I said I wanted to add 5% of that because of the shipping uh, costs are estimated and I don't want to have to come back okay. for another meeting you gotcha. know, because the, we have $80 of shipping that we can't pay. Is there any other discussion about the motion? And again, if anyone feels pressured, don't vote this and we'll do another motion. But <laughs> Okay, but seeing none, all right, then... Uh, do, do I, Mary, you're, do I just, do we now just take a vote? Do I have to say someone have to close the vote or something? Or, I mean, no, okay. All right, all those in favor of the motion. And I, I just have oh, one question. So, so uh, voting affirmative to this would approve the 12,000 for uh, the number four trash cans? Correct. It would approve up to, okay. it would prove up to 11,500 roughly of the But number it would agree on the design. It would, it would determine, it would decide the design. No, it doesn't. Yeah. No, we. I think there was a, other than you, the others all favored number four. So we're decided on the design, and we're voting on both the design and the amount and the money. Okay. Okay. So. John. Yes. Um, you do. You have enough EDC people present. Do you? You have four. We have five. We have a quorum. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. And just show me your hand so I can see. One, two, if it's a, if you, one, two, three. Devin, I can't see your hand, is it? Oh, you know, uh, I'm vote against. That's right. What? All right, all those in favor, fight. All those opposed? Devin is opposed. Okay. Uh, and any. John, I mean, John, you actually have to take a, a voice roll call if. Um, if it's not unanimous, that's correct. Unanimous. Okay, so Joe. Uh, aye. Uh, Patrick. Aye. Devin? Nay. Larry? Aye. John? Aye. Okay. Thanks, Sally. Thank you for that. Yeah, if we have a remote meeting and it's not unanimous, we have to take a roll call. Okay, so the motion passes four to one. All right, we now have one additional issue to deal with. Uh, John, 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 the motion does not pass. Oh, because, because we don't have a majority. We don't have a majority, right. Oh, I thought it was a majority of the people. Sorry. No, it's not. No. I mean, this is municipal Ma votes are different. Yeah, a majority of um, you have your quorum has to vote all in favor in this case. Got right. it. Okay, I didn't realize that. All right, so so let's ask Devin if he'll. I, that's a little unfair. I, to put I, you I on don't want to waste our time. Uh, I I do think that one A is a better and more frugal option. The, really, the only difference being. Uh, I don't know, it takes up less space on the sidewalk. It doesn't seem like it's a big problem. I, I would rather go with 1A, but I understand that I am outnumbered and to save us all some time in the evening, I will I will vote in favor. Okay. So, all right, well, Devin, thanks. We, we'll, there's some future vote we'll owe you one in the other direction. <laughs> Sally, do we need to take another vote then? Um, I, why don't you just do that? So okay, that, yes. Then we don't all right, so then it. let's just say, and again, uh, let's just by show of hands first to see if it's unanimous. All those in favor of the motion, Right, show your hands. One, two, three, four, five. Any opposed? No, okay. Now the motion passes with a majority of the full members of five. It, Devin, thank you for that. I think you made a good point and are also being reasonable and we appreciate that. Okay, we have one last issue to discuss, um, which is additional. There are a couple of small, uh, kind of in the spirit of getting things done, to Patrick's point, it took us two years, more than two years probably, Joe, if you're counting, I'm sure you have the start date, you and Beth in mind, to do trash cans. There's a few other things that we haven't completed and or we have noticed. And in the spirit of kind of, as people come flood back to Woodstock, hopefully now is a really good time if we can spend a little bit of money. So I'm personally in favor of this. There are three specific things that we are proposing to do. We, we've talked about this one. There are three additional things to sort of clean up in the downtown. The first two are really completing work. What we did in the past is we didn't quite allocate quite enough money in order to finish these projects. There's a there are three benches in the town in the village that are the old benches. You can immediately they're they're just the crappy old benches with little metal at the end and so forth. One of them is a really nice location. It's the round bench that goes around the tree on the green. And the other two are the two old benches at Tribu Park. And so the proposal here is to replace those three benches, which would cost about two, uh, 3,300. Uh, John, in, in I, I think I should, I think it's important for me to interject here. Please, you, go ahead. You place the round bench on the green. 
that price was like almost a month ago. And if anybody is familiar with what's going on with the price of lumber now, that price is not accurate any longer. It's closer to $3,800. To, and, what, and what the $3,800 for is for white oak to replace the wood that is currently on that bench. It's a six-sided bench with metal stanchions. And to get a complete picture, what, what, is, what I'm proposing is I would be happy to take the old wooden parts of it off and get, and get rid of it and sand down and spray paint the metal stanchions. Now we have two options to replace the wood wood. And again, it, I checked with both Baker Lumber and Britain's and um, it was advised to me, well, they, they had some stuff that would go for like, uh, it would triple that number. It's some wood from Africa that would not, that, you know, you, you couldn't destroy with a bazooka. But uh, the most practical uh, material to use would be white oak. And $3,800 would purchase the wood. We have two options in terms of application. One is um, Alex Osley is the one who installed the current wood and to approach him and ask him, and I'm sure, you know, if I ask him, he'll be more than happy to do it. But then you have to go through the town, you have to ask, you know, if it's okay with Bill and select board and whoever. Another option, and I suggested it to, to Beth, I'm not sure how fast she got along with it, but the gentleman from the Rotary who are replacing, the, who replaced the roof on the old information shack and who are gonna paint it at some point, they may be able to do the installation without any you know, going through the town and any of that, jumping through any of that hope. But I just wanted to make that clear before we moved on. Okay, thank you, Two Joe. Two at Tribal Park, as I understand it, they're not 650. And I think Beth, Beth uh, can support this. She looked at the invoice. I looked at the invoice and it was like $400. Okay. Right. The other thing is, is that there is already one at Tribal Park. It looks like there is only one of the old rickety kind of benches there. I think four, yeah, sorry, I, I got mixed up with the, what, what is the price, Beth? Four, I think it was 405, was it, Beth? It was, I think, 459. Okay. With shipping? Okay. No, well. That was a while ago, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yes, yeah. So, and we sent it off to, what I did is I pulled up Thank you to Sally. Pulled up the invoice, sent it to Jack um, Rossi, who facilitated the last purchase. He was going to see if he could facilitate. Uh, okay. Uh, I, more. I, Jack, I, 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 did, Jack Rossi negotiated the price with the original benches we bought for the green and everywhere else. I, I, look, and I'm going to suggest. He'd be happy to do the same for these. Okay, so, I, I'm just going to suggest that in both the cases of the two benches, that we don't have a hard and fast. I, I thought that we had confirmed. I, I was under the impression that these were confirmed. I, I don't see. I, I think that just as a way of doing business, right. we we we, sh we should come back at the next EDC meeting and consider this proposal then, where we have firm quotes and we know exactly what it is. It's three weeks from now. I, well, I don't think the, the the wood for the the, red, the the round bench is confirmed. I got that bid from Britain. Right, but buying but buying the wood without the, without the ability to put, turn it into a bench, we don't really know how much money we're committing. I think I understand it's likely to be no more than thirty eight hundred because the labor will be free. But I think it's it's incumbent upon us to okay to 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 to, 
to have all of that information ready and to say this John, is what John, could you look would you look at the chat regarding that? Because yes, Todd, I know. Todd Ullman made Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. So Todd, so Todd is raising a very interesting proposal and a very generous one. He's asking whether or not a business can sponsor a bench or a trash can. Lots of towns do this. And he's proposing that his business would sponsor the benches and that Joe would put those together. Uh, would would kind of do what Joe said he would do, which is a very generous offer. There's a policy question, which I think the EDC should consider. Are we comfortable with having a business with a small plaque, I presume, sponsor it? Um, I think we already have a bench outside the post office with some type of sponsorship on it, if it's individual. It's the Rotary Club. The Rotary Club. So I guess we sort of have a precedent for that. And the, and the bench behind the town choir is dedicated to uh, Tom Devoise. Yeah, that's right. right. So right. it doesn't it, seem to... So if so, if that's the case, then um, then if Todd, if Todd, you're, if I could just um, say something about the benches, those are teak, and the price was, I believe, back uh, when we got the original ones was a couple of years ago, and I would be shocked if the price hasn't gone up dramatically. It it was 2019, July of 2019. And the five foot benches were four hundred and fifty six dollars, and the four foot benches were four oh nine. Yeah. At so, that time. Right. So you're talking two years ago, and teak and the price of wood going sky high. Right. Well, I think I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised based on what happened with the white oak. Right. That they probably triple the price right now. Well, I oh, think. Absolutely. Right, but I think what I but I, so I think what what I'm proposing then is. This is a little bit too vague for the EDC to act tonight. However, yeah. Yeah. I have a member of the community who's proposing that his business sponsor this. My suggestion, therefore, is that uh, Todd, if you, uh, I think you you can hear us, <laughs> um, that you um, that you and Joe have a conversation as soon as possible. And Joe, if 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 Todd is his company is willing to sponsor these benches. And you work out the price and the labor and so forth, then I think the EDC would be, I mean, I don't want to speak for everybody. I think we would all be very happy with that. That's a great outcome and it sets a great example for other other future initiatives. Sure. I think it's a great idea. Um, and, and then on the last point, there are two missing trees. Do we have a firm, we have, I think, a firm quote to replace from, those uh, two trees. From Cyber Y, he said $1,000 a piece. And Sai has just done the work. I think we can trust that his pricing and so forth. He's just finished the work or almost finished the work at Teagle's Landing. But, but uh, John, uh, just one thing to add to that. Uh, we have a tree warden in the village, Don Wheeler, and I would want him to be consulted about the choice of the tree, trees that, that anyone who installs them would be putting in there. Okay, then if that's the case, then let's postpone that until the next meeting. And between now and then, we will coordinate that with him. Is that okay with you, Joe? Yeah, sure. I, I just feel like we should have, you know, oh, yeah, absolutely. concrete yeah. proposals here. Yeah. Okay. So we're not going to approve any of this additional spending, although we are going to achieve, the, we hope, the Todd, uh, uh, we hope with Todd's support and Mad Old Nut is the company, um, we hope that, um, that we can get that done, which is great. So I think that wraps it up. Are there any, is there any other uh, comments? they would like to make can i just make a comment yeah i am so happy that we never or we don't have to talk about trash cans we have talked about trash cans oh, for God, yeah. four years yeah. at least we, we can cross one item off the list exactly okay terrific any other comments yeah john yeah at, at some point we we might want to initiate a conversation about what the EDC spends on what and versus uh, what like the village spends on. Um, yeah, I'm not clear, I'm, I'm fairly new to the board. So, but I'm not clear where that distinction is. I know we've been told like, well, we aren't, we aren't gonna do sidewalks because that's infrastructure. Well, um, you haven't been told that. I've said that many times. It's just my personal opinion. We, I, oh, okay. I think, our, 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 sorry, that's a topic for a future meeting. I, let's let's put that on the agenda for the next discussion or for the next meeting. It's a very valid topic. I think. Yeah. Well, maybe everybody else understands it. I'm not. I'm no, not no, no. Larry, I'm new. I'm with you. I think that's a great yeah. discussion to have. Okay. Any other comments? 
No, all right, could I have a motion to adjourn? Move. Second. Yep. Moves. Patrick seconds, all in favor? Aye. 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 Kevin, are you in favor? Whew. All right, thank you. Any opposed? All right, we are adjourned at 6.59. We made it in under one hour. Jeff, I hope that was fast enough for you. All right, take care. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.